Hello everyone. Welcome again to another session of economics. In our earlier sessions, we have already gone through the definition, scope and nature of economics as a subject, the theory of demand and the theory of supply. So, picking up from there, in this session, we will proceed with the nature and behavior of the consumer. We will begin the session with some basic terms related to this topic that we are also going to use in our forthcoming sessions. The first such term is utility. Utility is the satisfaction of wants and needs obtained from the consumption or the use of goods and services. The terms utility and satisfaction are used interchangeably in economics. So utility can be regarded as a quantification of the satisfaction of wants and needs which are achieved through the consumption of goods and services. In principle, utility measurement can take one of the two forms. The first form is the cardinal form which is based on numerical values such as 1, 2, 3 etc. And the second form is the ordinal form which is based on rankings such as first, second, third and so on. The unit of measurement for utility is utils. Utility can be of various types. One form of utility is the marginal utility. Marginal utility is the additional utility which is obtained from the consumption of an additional unit of a commodity. For example, after eating one ice cream cone, if we eat another cone of ice cream, we will get additional satisfaction or we can say additional utility. So the increment of our utility can be called the marginal utility. It is specified as the change in total utility divided by the change in quantity. Another type of utility is the total utility, the sum of the utilities of all the commodities consumed at a particular time is known as total utility. Total utility is most often used in consumer demand theory to indicate how much overall satisfaction someone obtains from a given activity or the consumption of a given amount of a commodity. Now let us take an example to clarify these terms. If a person eats 5 oranges at a time, the sum of the utilities of all the 5 oranges consumed will be the total utility for that person. This term should be contrasted with the related term marginal utility. The additional satisfaction obtained on eating the sixth orange after eating all of the five oranges will be the marginal utility as it will be derived from the consumption of one additional unit of commodity that is orange in this question. Another related term is the cardinal utility. Cardinal utility is the measurement of satisfaction using numerical values such as 1, 2, 3 etc. that are comparable and based on a benchmark or a scale. It is assumed that utility is a quantifiable entity and a person can express the satisfaction derived from the consumption of a commodity in quantitative terms. Economist Marshall has provided cardinal measurement of utility according to which the higher the price paid by the consumer for a commodity, higher will be the utility of that commodity and vice versa. That is, lower the price paid by the consumer for the commodity, lower will be its utility. Thus, price can be considered as a measure of the utility of a commodity. It is also assumed that a consumer is capable of assigning a number to a commodity representing the amount of utility associated with it. Now there are certain assumptions which are to be made while assessing the cardinal utility of a commodity. First of all, the consumer is considered to be a rational human being. Secondly, the consumer possesses the knowledge of the market and of the price of the commodity. Thirdly. The taste of the consumer doesn't change. And last but not the least, the marginal utility of the money must remain constant throughout the consumption of the commodity. We have already discussed the concept of marginal utility. 
A related concept is the law of diminishing marginal utility. This law was formulated by the economist H. H. Gossen. Therefore, this law is also known as Gossen's first law. Later, this law was perfected by another economist, Professor Marshall. The law of diminishing marginal utility states that as we consume more and more units of a commodity, the additional utility derived from its consumption diminishes. In other words, we can say that the consumer consumes more of a commodity, the total utility will increase but at a decreasing rate. The applicability of the law of diminishing marginal utility also requires certain assumptions to be made. Firstly, various units of the good are homogeneous in nature. Secondly, there is no time gap between the consumption of different units of the commodity. Thirdly, the consumer is a rational being. And fourthly, taste, preferences and fashion remain unchanged. Let us take an example to clarify this concept. Suppose a consumer consumes 5 bottles of a cold drink. The utility or we can say satisfaction derived from the consumption of the 5th bottle after drinking 4 bottles will be less as compared to the utility or satisfaction derived from the consumption of 4th bottle after drinking the first 3 bottles. Similarly, it will increase for 3rd bottle and further for second. Now this is what has been illustrated in this table given here. As we can see in the data, the total utility is increasing as the number of bottles consumed increases, but the marginal utility decreases gradually.